what is going on my crypto friends uh thanks again for joining me hey i appreciate your patience today something is up with splinterlands i don't know i don't know what's going on guys i'm a little sad you know because we've been grinding here wednesdays playing splinterlands and it's been great we've been building up the guild our guild the secret stashers our guild it's not my guild you know we're working together as a team you know, me as a leader, I don't get, like, some crazy bonus or something for running the guild. Uh, but it has been a lot of fun. And I don't know what's what's up with Splinterlands. Uh, it, it looks like it's still down for maintenance. I'm going to check again here real quick. Uh, but it's been down for maintenance for, like, the last 40 minutes or so. Oh, no, it's back up. Oh, my gosh. We waited just long enough, and it looks like it's back up. That's awesome, right? So we can play some Splinterlands. I was going to say, hey, you know, since it's not up, uh, we'll just go ahead and play uh, some Blanco's uh, block party, but uh, it does look like it's back up, so that's awesome. Game on! <laughs> I'm all about it. All right, so uh, since the website is back up and we got everything going, that's great. Uh, let's just jump right into it because maintenance update to help with scaling. Yeah, well, it looks like they got through it, and uh, it's looking good. The website's looking good. So uh, if you guys want to jump in on Splinterlands with me, uh, go ahead and do so. Uh, if you guys don't, uh, if you guys aren't playing Splinterlands, I'll put my link here so you can check it out. I'll put the link in here. And uh, you guys can play along with us. So what we're going to do here first, like we are, are doing every Wednesday, is we're going to reevaluate our guild members. And then we're going to jump into some gameplay. Uh, I won't have a ton of time today uh, because we did have a kind of, we started a kind of bit late here. Uh, but uh, our, the guild name is the Secret Stasher. So we're going to jump over there uh, right now and... Oh. There we go. We're going to jump over there and talk about it. Um, so, yeah. So here we are uh, at our guild. This is the Secret Stashers. So right now we're sitting at rank uh, 347. And that is an increase from last time. I think we were like 390-something or, or, or close to 400 last time. Our guild rating is at 10,182. And we have 12 of 16 available members. If you've noticed... We've uh, we've increased membership uh, uh, allotment or allowability by one. I didn't notice that until just now. That's pretty awesome. Uh, and so we can look at our members here and who is ranked where. Uh, I fall a little bit lower here down. Uh, I'm still ranked at uh, at 800, but we got uh, Rue Kirk here in first place. Good job, GG's Rue Kirk, for keeping up that rating for the guild for us. And he has contributed a boatload of DEC. Much appreciated, brother. We're really going to get this guild into shape, and we're going to get it into brawling shape. That's what we're looking to do here, is with the new Brawl 2.0 features that are coming out, we got to build up our, our buildings so we can get our arena set, so we can do these big guild brawls. That is uh, what we're trying to do here. So, uh, so yeah, so we're going to be rotating people in and out here, as you can see. Uh, we got, uh, every, everyone has some pretty good amount of... Uh, of um, a pretty good amount of um, of you know rating here, but we are going to have to cap it somewhere, and we're going to reevaluate this every stream. So it's really important that you guys make the stream or you check it out, and don't think this is personal. Uh, we just have to keep the guild moving forward, and we only have so many people that can be in the guild. So if you're not keeping your rating up, like uh, Cyberhim looks like he's going to get cut today, even though he has contributed 350 DEC, uh, he's only at 116 rating. And we'll have to look at some of these other ones too, like BC, uh, BTCX. We did talk about having at least 150 DEC contributed uh, if, you're, if you're not meeting both a, a certain threshold and a certain DEC. So I think that what we're going to do here is we're going to bump that threshold up to 600 rating and 150 DEC uh, uh, contributed. So if you don't have both of those... It's going to be hard for you to stay as a member in the squad uh, going through the next couple of weeks. So a minimum rating of 600 and then a minimum contribution of 150 DC. You have to have both. Last time you said it was like, okay, it's one or the other, but I think we really need to do it where it's both this time so we can, uh, so we can really keep this guild moving forward and build it very quickly. So uh, if you have not sent your, if you've not sent your, your request, 
you definitely need to send it in. Like I told you guys, that's why we're going to leave one slot open always on the guild. So we'll leave that as like our request spot. And uh, yeah, so we're going to have to go through and boot some people through here. So, um, and, and once again, if you do get booted, just know, like I said, it, it's not that you can't come back. Um, you, it's not that you haven't contributed and uh, we love your contribution, but uh, you know, we are going to have to kind of cycle this out. And if you're not keeping up that rating, then you know we'll have to cycle the things through and then when you come back and you get above the what we you know the ratings like above 600 and above 150 dec or once you get back in you you contribute and have that the next week we evaluate you well then you won't uh, you won't necessarily be on the chopping block uh so we gotta we gotta keep that in consideration so like i said it's not personal but uh we are trying to build this guild so the more you contribute the more likelihood you are going to be able to stay and the higher you keep your rank uh, the more likelihood you're going to be able to say. As you can see, like I, I've even ranked down. A lot of people have passed me up here, which is great to see. I haven't been able to play a lot this last week, and I'm actually going to be on vacation next week. So there will, there will be no stream next week. So you guys have a full two weeks to get your rating up and uh, get going on this. And I think that's going to actually uh, spill into the next uh, the next league. So I think, uh, I think, let me see, the next league is ending in four days. Right, so that that'll, that'll mean that you guys will have a good amount uh, to get in the uh, next ratings and stuff for the next uh, the next uh, season, and uh, you can you can rank up and and we'll reevaluate when I get back uh, the following week. So no stream next week. Keep that in mind. All right, so we're booting Cyber Him. Much love to you, man. I appreciate you for everything you've contributed so far. Please make sure you resubmit uh, once you get above the uh, the six hundred mark here for uh, for. Uh, um, for your rating and then we're gonna boot casper casper i love you brother but you got to uh you got to get your rating up just a little bit more and then we'll reinvite you back to the guild here and we got a lot of invites man i did not really think we we're gonna get so many invites it looks like we have 87 pending invites wow. what? i don't know how we're gonna do that adom says he can get it right up to 600 right now Sending apps sort of have an uh, app in. You can play mobile. Yeah, you totally can play this game on mobile. They have apps for both uh, Android and for iPhone. Club uh, ADD says he needs a refresher on the game. Well, we're going to get into gameplay right now. We just got to go through some guild stuff here first. Uh, but uh, BTCX uh, looks like we're going to have to cut you as well, man. And look, I'm like the low man on the totem pole right now. I'm the low man. I can't kick myself out. Otherwise, I would. You know? Uh, but yeah, BTCX, you're right there at that cusp, man. You need to get up to 600 rating and 150 DEC contributed. Uh, and then uh, we'll, we'll reevaluate you for guild membership here in the future. Uh, but like I said, we want to keep people contributing. And we may have to start kicking out people who don't contribute that minimum uh, DEC, even if they have the higher ranking. So p please keep that in mind that if you do have a higher ranking like uh, Chris X, Giga Game, uh, ANK2020, w, uh, WHIS, all of you have not contributed over 150 DEC, which is almost nothing, guys. It's really a small amount of DEC uh, in comparison. So, uh, you know, I, we're going to have to re keep reevaluating this. And you guys can see there's 92 requests right now. So this is a, it's going to be a really hard thing to be able to uh, to do uh, this. And, you know, when, when you're coming back in, well, that's weird. I, I thought it would sort by rating before, but it's not. So, and, and it shows how much you've contributed. So if you've gotten kicked out and then you put a, a request back in, it'll show your contribution amount. So you'll be automatically considered, uh, you know, higher if you have a higher contribution amount and if it's, if it's good. So we're gonna have to go through and look at all the ratings for some of these people and uh, look who are the top. So we have, how many spots do we have? So we have nine active members, which means we have uh, five active spots because we have a total of 16 members available. So we can add five members right now, and we're gonna go by who has the highest uh, rating here. So it's so it's a minimum of 600. It's not just if you have 600, you're gonna get in automatically, but we're gonna look who has the highest rating out of all these, and I, I thought that you could sort it by rating, but that doesn't seem to be working right now. I could have sworn you could do that. So it looks like uh, Jusic is one of the highest rating uh, players here that has submitted. I don't see anybody else in the 2000 range. Oh, no, we do see another one here. And uh, uh, Rudmon is also going to probably be in. Just kind of scanning. So, yeah, Rudmon and Jusic are definitely in. 
And uh, if you get in on the guild, like I said, make sure that you're you're contributing DEC. Uh, I don't want you guys to get kicked out uh, if you're you have a high rating and then you just have low DEC. It's pretty easy to be able to contribute at least 150 DEC to the guild. All right, that's two. So we got three more slots that we're going to rotate in here. <laughs> I'm never getting in again with people at 2K power. I, you know, I know, man, and that's what I'm saying. It, it's uh, I'm not gonna lie, guys. It's a hard decision. Like, who do we keep in? Uh, who who's gonna stay? Who's gonna go? Uh, you know, w w we'll get to a point here. I think where we have a good group of people that are playing on a consistent basis, and uh, and you know, we really need to keep that up, right? Because, like I said, we're really trying to uh, to try and get this guild going. And then I think we'll settle in uh, to a, a good amount of people who are constantly playing, you know? Uh, and so we'll have to start rejecting people in general and uh, and, and it'll really be uh, something that uh, won't, won't rotate as much. But here in the first kind of, you know, uh, in the first kind of couple of weeks of getting this guild together, we do need to make sure that the people who are in the guild right now and uh, are people who are actively playing and are are playing quite a bit, you know. So they're 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 keeping their rating up and they're playing quite a bit. So if we look down here, who's the next top rated player? We got uh, Showstopper seventeen hundred, uh, Archer uh, Archer's Bald at seventeen hundred as well, fourteen hundred. Sixteen fifty eight. It's pretty close. I don't see anybody else above 1700 so we're gonna probably add these two as well and so like I said this is not gonna just be always a, a rotating thing like I'm just gonna rotate in whoever has the highest ratings uh, it is gonna come down to contributions and then like I said we'll settle into a full team that will just end up being the secret stasher team but you gotta be somebody who's actively playing the game and keeping your rating up every season this is kind of like trials, you know, for these first couple of weeks or, or a month or so. We're just kind of trying people out and rotating through and seeing who's going to stick with it. Uh, who's going to stick with it, you know. So Casper Stuck, you're in. And uh, hopefully you contribute so we don't have to rotate you out next uh, in the next two weeks. And then let's see, we saw another 1700 level. And then Showstopper. Showstopper, you're also in. So let's see how many members we now. I think we need one. We can add one more member here. And so, like I said, uh, when it comes down to it, you know, uh, so 13, oh, we can add two more, 14, 15, because we got a, 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 an amount that we have 16 that we can add. So we have 13 members. We can add two more. And like I said, guys, this is a hard, it's a hard thing to do. So Mr. Windmill looks like he has one of the higher level rankings here. Yeah, and rankings are, are getting, they don't get to, uh, fully halved. They get reset to a certain level. So uh, every season, you kind of just get pushed back a little bit. Slater, no, we're playing uh, we're playing a, a Splinter Lands. That, that we always play Splinter Lands on Wednesdays, but uh, there was some problem with the server, and it was down for maintenance. Uh, they were doing some upgrades. And uh, and so yeah so all right so uh, I thought we already added Arches Bald maybe he didn't get added maybe that's why we had an extra slot okay so now we're at, so yeah we got one more spot left and let's see here Is 1529 the highest? I thought I saw 1600 in here right now. Yeah, Sage Maker, I think, is the highest here. Yep, it looks like Sage Maker is going to be the last one that we let in today. All right, so GG's to all the new members to the guild. I know if you guys are watching, it can be kind of frustrating. Like, I want to be in, I want to be in. But like I said, you know, this is to encourage you guys to be very active players, to get your rating up, to continue to grow your your uh, amount of cards, which equals your power base, right? So you can get into those higher tiers. 
And, uh, you know, like I said, we're, we're going to be working on this list of people and actively, uh, you know, settling on a good group of people. So I would really love to see a bunch of you guys who are in chat. Never give up. No surrender. No retreat. No surrender, man. That's what we're talking about, man. And, and, and you know, don't don't feel discouraged because I think that you definitely can get in this. Don't don't think that you can only get, uh, you know, if you're not only at 2K, that you won't be able to get in. Uh, we'll definitely be able to get you guys in here eventually. And, uh, you know, like I said, we, we need active players, though. But that's what we need for this. We need to be getting people that are active and people who are contributing DEC as well. So, you know, you look at people like uh, but like uh, Rikuk, uh, Rikuk, Rikuk. He's contributed 8,000 8, DEC, and he's got a great rating. You know, So these are the type of people who we want to keep in the guild, and we want to have people who are, are constantly building. Now, as you can see, now I'm the lowest player here, and that is kind of sad. So I'm going to have to work on that today, and hopefully we get uh, some, some good rating uh, bumps today. Like I said, I haven't been able to play uh, that much since last uh, stream, but I am trying to play a little bit every day. So I'm encouraging you guys to do the same thing, and we will settle on a... On, on, a, on a set guild member roster, right? Uh, as we get here closer to uh, getting our buildings fleshed out and our, and our stuff like that. So checking out the tavern. Uh, welcome to the new members. New uh, guild require mints Oops, I spelled permanent wrong. All right, so now everyone knows what's up. So uh, now recapping our buildings here, before just real quick before we jump in. Uh, we have raised our member limit, which is great because we have hit level two, guys. Congratulations, GGs. Thank you guys so much who have donated. Uh, and so you can see now we have our build cap at two. Uh, so we'll keep pushing on this. Uh, and then uh, same thing here with uh, the uh, the loge. We've gotten enough quests to get to level two here. So we're getting now a 2% uh, bonus. The greater DC bonus gain in ranked battle win. So now we're getting a 2% bonus. So keep doing those quests. That's also something we'll, we may, a metric we may keep looking at here uh, in the future. You can see who's done the most quests here, which is great. Uh, player total right here and how much the guild total is. And then the other one that we're trying to build up here uh, in the second, you know, as, as our other side is the arena. So you can see we have about uh, 1,900 of 10,000. So uh, let's try and get that arena total up. Uh, don't forget about contributing to the arena because that is what we want to do uh, so far. Uh, and, and that's part of what we're trying to do, get ready for the, the battle, the brawls that are coming. So how do you contribute quests? It just by uh, completing your daily quests, guys. That's all you got to do is just complete your daily quests. And that is contributing to the quest level and to our our, uh, our lodge here. So, all right, let's jump into battle because, like I said, it was a little bit of a shorter uh, uh, stream today. But uh, we're going to try and complete our quest for today. And uh, there's only four days left in the season, so let's get to ranking up, doing it together. And I'll, and if for that, those that are new that are like using this stream to learn, this is a great time to learn as well. So I'm going to talk about some of the cards and how we do it as I, I, I battle here. So uh, yeah, you can see this guy, 810 power, standard rules. Mana cap is a little bit low, but all the splinters are available. So uh, you can see what he's already played here. So you can see he's done uh, you know, a pretty standard looking uh, light deck and a fairly standard looking death deck as well. Uh, we love the water splinter. It's definitely one of my favorite splinters, so I'm glad that that is my quest for today. And we could put together a pretty nifty little team here uh, with this uh, with this um, with this look here. So I always like to go with Sea Monster in this occasion, and then try and pick a bunch of smaller cap creatures that have. Uh, so like we'll do this, this, and then do we have a two? We don't have another two. Maybe what we actually do is two two fours. Uh, 
we do two fours, that'll, oh no, that's a four and a two. So we'll keep Medusa. And then we just need, when we'll do the Pixie. And we'll see how that works. This is a smaller setup, obviously. But we can stick the chicken in there. Don't forget the chicken! And so there's very, uh, very few zero uh, mana cards. And the Furious Chicken is one of them, and it's just kind of like cannon fodder. Oh, goodness. Turn that down. Je but Jesus, that was loud. <laughs> Kaboosh! P. Well, I'm sorry, man. I know it's kind of sucky. You know, like I said, it's you. you but you got to get to a point where you know you, you're uh, you're you're at a certain level where you're consistently, you know, getting up to a higher rank and you have enough cards. Like I said, nothing personal, man. Um, you know, it, it's just we want to make sure that we can build the guild up and we're not leaving it to a bunch of people who are not playing very often and are not ranking up their power or you know, uh, um, you know, doing all the daily quests because that is important. Oh, so this is going to be interesting. So he went a little bit of a different route. And, I, you know, he, I actually may lose this one. I may lose this one. We'll see. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> so, see, I like to put it on 3x speed so I can at least see it. Especially if you're a new, a new a beginner, you can see what kind of happens there, right? And and what's happening with the different summoner abilities. And then you can see now we have a, two, a plus 2% uh, guild boost to DEC rewards, which is uh, one of the really good bonuses uh, that we want to get. So that's why we want to keep doing our daily quest, because that boosts up, uh, boosts up the guild, the entire guild. It's getting that plus 2%, you know? Yeah, P. Well, I know you're definitely a hardcore stasher, man. It's 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 not necessarily about playing favorites. Uh, it's not about playing favorites. It's just about uh, making sure we can get the guild up. And uh, I know that's a hard thing to come to terms with, man. I'm not trying to get anybody, but if you can get your rating up there, good, and and continue to keep that up, and then contribute some DEC once you get back in the guild, uh, then we will definitely, um, you know, definitely look and consider. Uh, consider you and 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 you know, like I said, we're gonna settle on a, a team here at some point. A, a, like a, a consistent set team but it does have to be people who are actively playing hmm see this is an even harder one and we could go with something like what the the last guy did it's a little bit of a riskier situation i would say but we could do something like putting uh sea genie in front instead and then doing so hard man with such a low uh, a low level like this we have three to play with so I don't know man it's it's like we can go that route <laughs> it's pretty that's pretty rough and that that's been one of my problems with these lower mana battles like anything around 12 is like been really rough for me Ah, see, he did go with, uh, I figured. Oh, having having a healing tank in the front is always one of the best things to do, it, especially at a lower level like this. So I may end up, uh, this, this may not, this may, not, may, may be a short battle here. I think that I'm going to probably lose this one. Because, yeah, oh, he missed. At least I'm flying, so that's something. Oh, dang, I got rid of him. That flying ability really helped there. So, see, that was a you know, kind of the strategy is I went like with two flying, and uh, you know melee creatures have a harder time hitting flying flying creatures. So. All right, moving right along. Where am I chatting? I, I chat on all the platforms, guys. So I'm, I'm I'm looking at comments on YouTube and on Theta and on Twitch. So uh, you know, just it's just hard to catch all the comments. What was uh, Blanco's is tomorrow, isn't it? Uh, so no, there's no there's Chris. There's no stream tomorrow. 
I'm going to be out of town, and uh, and so there's going to be no stream tomorrow or, or all of next week. So I'm out of town all of next week, guys. Range attacks may be used in the first position. Okay, that's fine. We got a big mana cap this time, too. So we're definitely going with our big, big team here. Um, and so this this will be fun. We're getting all of them in here. Actually, let's not... Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll stick with Phantom. And then what we got? One more to go. Alright, this will be interesting. We'll see how this works out. So yeah, so I, I'm definitely uh, watching on all the things. So on Twitch and on YouTube and on Theta. And so uh, so yeah, so I'm, I'm, I, I'm trying to catch all the com comments, guys, but sometimes it's going to be hard. Uh, when do I normally do Blanco? So on Thursdays. So if you if you uh, it's on it's on Thursdays. Tuesday is the NFT beat, and that is just about NFT news, tips and tricks. So it's just general NFT stuff. It's not just focused on gaming. But uh, Wednesdays and Thursdays are the game streams. All right. Wow, interesting. So he went real big uh, with uh, with his his uh, uh, ranged, which makes sense, and he's going to get a boost here to his speed. So he's going to be doing a lot of ranged on me. And this, this actually doesn't boast so well uh, for my lineup, actually. Especially with that speed. But we'll see. Hopefully the... Uh, with an, I, have a, I have a lot of, of, of firepower in, in the back there, as you can see. So that, that was really, I think, made a lot of sense. And with him tanking, it's working out pretty well. Yep. Boom, boom, boom. Pew, pew, pew. Another stash win. See, and you can see as we get this uh, win streak, it, it keeps bumping up that DEC. And this is the way to really build DEC pretty quickly using gold cards uh, and then uh, getting that win streak. You know, just keep winning. Yeah, I'm definitely going for that new Blancos today, though. That Burberry one, I'm going to be trying to grab one today uh, for sure. Yeah, Splendorous has been a great earning game, a great a a game to earn in. Uh, you know, some of the cards you can get some from these rewards. I, somebody on the stream, I think it was Stealth Trader, uh, said he pulled a gold foil Byzantine Kitty Summoner in a rewards chest the other day, and I was like, oh my god, you're the, the luckiest dude ever. <coughs> so, Monsters of Magic Tack may not be used. Okay, nope, we're not doing uh, we're not doing uh, uh, any uh, any water splinter for this one then, are we? I think what we'll do is we're going to go with Earth on this one then. And Flesh Golem in the front. Minotaur Warrior. This is one of my favorite uh, line. Oh, no, we can't use the, the healer on this one. But that's okay. That's okay. Uh, and then we want to go with... We'll get some back line here going with some ranged. We got eight left to spend. So I think we'll go kind of big here with our ranged. Oh, actually, you know what? I think we're going to go. No, we're going to go here. I like to speed better on this ranged uh, on the uh, Beatrix Iron Hand. And, and we'll stick the, the goblin in. And plus we'll go, obviously, with the chicken. Got to throw the chicken in there. Always got to have the chicken, guys. The chicken, the furious chicken. If you watch the Thursday streams when I play uh, I play Splinterland sometimes there, I have a furious chicken disguise. What happens when the counter expires? Uh, so for Blanco's, when it expires, and you, that's when it'll be available in the shop. So you just refresh the page, and boom, it's there. I always buy like directly in the game though, because I use Blanco's bucks. I have a bunch of Blanco's bucks. Yeah, this guy has no chance against my lineup. <laughs> There's like no way. I got too much backline and uh, and just too much healing power with that front tank there. Hopefully he can stay in. It. Yeah, there we go. So he's he's doing his thing. Boom. 
Tank it away and chicken, chicken, goodbye. Pew, pew. <laughs> All right, so we couldn't do water on that one, but that's okay. Yeah, that BlockFi credit card, man. I just talked about uh, that I just got one of those. And uh, yeah, using that for some of these fiat purchases for your crypto items is like one of the best ideas ever. Because then you get Bitcoin back and then your, your NFT or whatever you ended up buying also appreciates in value. Like in this case, this Burberry uh, Blanco will definitely appreciate in value. So I know we're kind of cross gaming here, but. <laughs> All right, we got a mana cap of 20 standard rules. Standard combat rules. Oh. Maybe we don't. Uh, hmm. We've got two left and we can't get another one in there. So I think what we're going to do is just throw the archer in the back there. And the chicken. Chicken. Is anyone sticking cake for SPS? I am. I am. And as a matter of fact, I have a video coming out about that on Friday. So all these really great gaming tokens you can stake on, on uh, cake swap. I mean, on pancake swap. <laughs> cake swap. On pancake swap. So. Edgar, man, good to hear that, brother. Uh, this is a fun game. I love it. I have a great time playing this game and uh, gl glad you are too. Yeah, the SPS alone that you can earn from some of this stuff is, is just crazy. Boom, taking out this dude's team like it's butter. Butter! All right, man, we're really close to our daily. We've won every match. Look at that guy. You got you guys give me great luck. I think that's what it really comes down to. When I play by myself, I feel like I get the worst luck. But when I'm playing on stream with you guys watching, I I swear like I crush the hell out of things. It makes me look like I'm a much better player. Uh, but uh, but yeah. Oh, see now this is where I'm going to have a little bit of trouble. Uh, especially with the water splinter. So let's see if we can go and do a different splinter here. Uh, yeah. Because most likely he's going to go with uh, with death again. I mean, that's just what I'm thinking. So somebody was telling me a really great lineup for me. So Crystal Jaguar in the front. I think it was this and this with armor smith. I this is it, it's it's so hard with the uh with the 12 mana battles, man. I I haven't really found some good lineups. You got do you guys have some good 12 mana lineups that you like? If you do, let me know. I'd love to hear. But I I may not win this one. I'm not confident about this. Yeah, there's Burberry wearable, so the jetpack actually looks pretty good. So I'm going to go for a uh, Burberry first and then jetpack second. And two, for you guys that are, that are interested, you know, with Splinterlands, uh, you know, what we're doing here is there is a new set of cards that's coming out for Splinterlands. They're going to release a whole new set of cards that's specific just for brawls. That's why we're trying to get the guild up and trying to find the, our set amount of members uh, and so I, you know, like I said, I, I appreciate everybody who's been contributing. I hope people don't feel mad that I, they get kicked out after they've contributed DEC or they were in the guild previously, uh, because I, I definitely want people to to uh, you know have a good experience and be in the guild. But we can't have people who are not playing uh, that are not keeping their rating up, because otherwise it's just the guild's not going to go anywhere, right? We're never going to get to that level. We're never going to be able to uh, get to brawling, and so uh, yeah. Fire or death splinters for low mana. Yeah, Cliff, that's a good point. You know, I I think that that's typically what I've gone with because they have low level, uh, lower mana cost um, uh, tanks. So I do try and stick there. I was I've been trying to see if I could do this low level, uh, um, you know, how this low level one works out for the light splinter.
Do I like Splinterlands more than uh, Gods Unchained? Uh, you know, they're very different games. Uh, Splinterlands is a lot more casual. I love the strategy in Gods Unchained. Uh, there's so much more in depth in it, you know, with uh, some of the gameplay and obviously you're playing actively against another player. The games are just so different. I like them for different reasons. So Splinterlands is really easy for me to just kind of play on the go here and there. Uh, Gods and Chain, you got to sit down for sessions, man. That is like, you, you know, there's sometimes games last about 20 minutes, 30 minutes even sometimes if you're playing control decks. So uh, it can be a little difficult with Gods and Chain to get a lot of, of time in for that game. So that, that is my, my one thing, obviously. Splinterlands is a lot more casual. As you can see, you can play matches way faster uh, with, with this. Oh, well, look at that. I won. <laughs> he surrendered. Well, there you go. The streak continues. And I have unlocked Silver 3. Because I've advanced, uh, I've advanced my uh, my uh, level there. So it's like, do you want to advance? Yes, I do. I'm going for it, man. And this is going to put me in a, in a, a, this higher league that I'm going into into silver now. Uh, the mat the matches and the power of the people I'm going to be playing are going to be a lot harder, right? And uh, but the rewards are better. So if you look here, uh, let's look at the the league's rewards here. So I'll be getting uh, 15, uh, 12 loot chests, right? So I'll be getting, and then my reset is only to, is to 500. So you can see someone asked about that earlier. So every season you get re, you do get reset, you have to build your rating back up, and but the higher you get in your league, the higher leagues you get, the less uh, you're gonna be reset to, right? So I'll get 12 loot chests if I keep this, uh, this setting here. And, and my goal really is to get up to uh, gold three because that's what I have. I have 100,000 power. Is that what I'm at about right now? I think 100,000 power. Where's my power? Oh, I'm, I'm very close to 100,000 power. So I'll, I'll be there pretty soon with uh, opening some new, new car packs that I have that are sitting around. Yeah, I mean, GU is great. And you're right. It is kind of hard to wrap your, your brain around two different card games. I'm not going to lie, man. It is hard. Now I will tell you too, uh, Chris. You know, having a guild definitely helps you with uh, DEC a little bit, and but that's the biggest. That's really the only boost. So right now, the only thing you would be getting if you were in the guild that is, if you weren't in the guild, is you'd be getting a plus two percent boost to your DEC earnings. So that's really the the main advantage here. So you're really not missing out on much. I mean, you'll still be able to you know make money back and you know holding cards and ranking up and getting quests uh, prizes. Uh, you'll still be able to do that quite easily outside of a guild. Yeah, always go up in league for sure. Yeah, definitely. You definitely don't want to stay back in the league. Oh wow, forty-four mana cap. This guy's been playing a variety of different splinters and uh, even Stevens. Uh, only monsters with even mana cost can be used. All right, let's make this team. Um, now what do we go with for something like this? I think that we because we don't have well, we could go with Mimosa, or we would go with uh, Sacred Llama Mage. I think we're gonna go with the uh, the Llama Mage. And I think we can build a pretty good team with this, especially since it's such a high mana cap. We're definitely going to go with Flesh Golem and Kron. Those are two of the biggest cards uh, here, and uh, they'll work out really well. We're going to put Kron, obviously, in the last place since he is... Uh, and we have so much mana cap here. I mean, it's just kind of crazy. We'll let's see what else. Let's see what else we can... Uh, I don't think there's any other bigger range cards. We can do Magic Reflect... But I think getting some big ranged uh, cards in here makes sense too. <clears throat> yeah, so I think that's a pretty good lineup right there. I'm gonna switch these ones out. And look, one mana below. <laughs> uh, uh, Deborah, no, this game is not an Ethereum based game. It is actually a Hive based game, but they do have bridges to several other currencies. So, uh, so you know, the assets are on the high blockchain, but you can buy the cards and other things with a bunch of different currencies. They do connect to like Binance or uh, to Wax and some other ones too, which is pretty cool. Uh, I put Kron in last place uh, because if he gets the Llama Mage's uh, special power, which is uh, which is last stand, usually it's it's the one in, in last. So we'll see. It may, it may not be, but all of the creatures get last stand, so not a big deal. So this will be an interesting battle. We'll see what happens here with this. They're all going to get a little bit of boost to their health here, but I think with uh, the last stand ability, I don't know that they're going to really be able to tackle this. 
They are gonna snipe my my uh my tank healer though. My tank heals. Yep, there's tank heals is going first, that's what I thought. So you can see, yeah, everyone, we're just, we're eating through these. You know, we, I went with a bunch of high health creatures, and with Kron in the back there, there's nothing they can really do with these one, that's a one-two punch, man. Kron and Flesh Golem, and uh, not much you can really do about that. This guy's donezo. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> Yeah, Crypto Crackhead, man. If you got some some cake to stake, man, you, uh, definitely watch my video on Friday, and I'm gonna show you the best uh, gaming tokens to stake on on uh, Cake Swap or uh, Pancake Swap. Uh, D Boog, yeah, man, definitely jump on my Thelsi uh, Celsius link right there, uh, and let me know if you if you need any help with that or if you need the direct code. But Celsius is great, man. I've earned so much money with them, and they're like one of the most reputable companies in the space that does that. So. All right, on. We just need one more water battle to to close it out here, and we still got uh, about 20 minutes left on the stream. So the, the Wednesday streams are always a little bit shorter. I do about an hour on Wednesdays, uh, because I don't have as much time on Wednesdays as I normally do. Well, this guy has done consistently done dragon, so he's doing a lot of. So he's using the the uh, specific dragon cores, Manticore core, and a bunch of the dragons. So I think I keep that in consideration. So here we go. The, the initial health of all monsters is equal, equal to that of the monster on either team with the highest base health. So we might want to go with a a, uh, a a low health monster and see how the how that goes. I, I'm going to see if we can make the lowest health monster team possible. Uh, I don't know. I don't know how that will work here, but let's see. <laughs> let's see how it's going to work. Because mm. we don't want you to see monster because he's got uh, no no healing ability. But we could easily go with uh, all low health like this. And then three more. See, we're, we're going to be a little... We're not going to be able to get any more of that in. So let's see. Three more with low health. What do we got in the two? So we can do him. And then what about the one range? One and two ranges. We definitely want to get the chicken in there. Who actually put him first? Hmm. And then maybe we'll go with the albatross. <clears throat> oh wait, he doesn't have any attack. Why, why would we put him in there? Hmm. Hmm. Actually, maybe we'll, we'll put Creeping Ooze in the back and see how that goes. This is an interesting one. As you rank up and get higher uh, you know, to the higher leagues, they start really giving you a crazy amount here. So, uh, Club, no, I haven't taken any loans with Celsius. Uh, they don't uh, allow that for U.S. customers. So, in, in the United States, you don't get uh, you don't get Celsius loans, unfortunately. Uh, for that, I actually use uh, Unchained Capital. So, if you want to take loans against your BTC, uh, Unchained Ch Capital, I think, is the best option in the United States. Um, and then, Chris, you know, I, I know people use Nexo. I am not a fan of Nexo in general. Um, so I, I don't use Nexo and, and that's because back in the day, man, they were caught doing some kind of shady stuff, man. And I don't, you know, companies that, that kind of do some things that I'm not very happy about, I, I tend to kind of stay away from, uh, I've been very happy with, uh, with, um, you know, Celsius and yeah, they do have some caps on some of those stuff, but, um, if you know how to kind of work it right, you'll never hit those caps. We were just plowing on, we just plowed on through this guy, plowed on through, <laughs> And that is uh, that is going to give us our, our water cl quest claim. So see, now we, we've claimed a quest here, and uh, we'll get a, uh, a reward. This is our daily reward, and this is what you want to keep hitting. So if you play Splinterlands every day, you'll get these rewards. And now that I'm in silver, I get two chests for every quest. 
So the higher you rank up uh, the, in your leagues, the more chests you're going to get for your daily quest. So one potion and one potion. All right, so potions, nothing great. Nothing great. Could have been cards, could have been DEC. Let's keep battling. We're keeping our streak alive, guys. We, we're, we're, on a, we're on a hot streak here. I have not lost a match since we started playing. That is hot. I love it. Or maybe, wait, no, I lost one match. Did I lose one match? I might have lost one. All right, so uh, all range and magic monsters have the snipe ability, and all monsters have the knockout ability. Oof. All right. Well, this is definitely a job for Yoden. This Yoden Zaku is one of the more powerful summoners in the entire game. And uh, we have a huge mana cap here. So let's look at something big to be up front for us. I almost want to go with Living Lava, but I may go with Goblin Mech here um, and as, a, as a front runner uh, because of his armor. And then also throw in Sandworm because he can just uh, straight snipe from, from anywhere. Oop. There we go. And maybe we do Naga Fire Wizard. Oh, and we can do Phineas and Flamesmith. So we're going to move Phineas to here. And I think we're going to move the Fire Wizard here. And then don't forget the chicken. Chicken! <laughs> but I'm working... Yeah, exactly. Mom, quit playing games and do your homework. Me, I'm working at the moment. Mom, I'm hustling, making some cheddar. That crypto cheddar. That's what we do here uh, all the time. Wow, Jasper, dude, good to see you back in chat, buddy. You've missed all the streams. You're right, man. He said Jasper took his family on a 45-day backpacking trip around the whole EU, around all of Europe. That is amazing, Jasper. I want to hear more about that, man. That sounds super interesting. And, uh, I, you know, uh, to have a whole family do it, that's crazy. I really want to hear about it. That's super awesome, man. That's a, that's, a, that's a lifetime adventure right there. I want to go do that. I, I, I want to go backpack through Europe. My daughter's probably still, still a little bit too young for that. She's only 11. So it'll be a little bit rough, I think, to do, but um, but uh, let me know uh, what, what age your your uh, f the rest of your family is. All right, I think with our blast ability through Yoden, I think that uh, he we're, we're going to absolutely crush this. We're getting blasted a little bit back too, but uh, I think with uh, with this lineup, we're going to be it's going to be solid. Yeah, there, there's nothing they can really do about this. Just cr just crushed, just straight crushed. Boom. Woo! Smoked them. <laughs> and so you can see now I'm, I'm getting about 14 DEC per win. So if you keep that, that streak going, you can see now I'm getting plus 45%. And then if you use gold cards, that's another really big bonus. So try and use those gold cards whenever you can if they make sense in your in your deck, right? In your build for, for your, your deck. Wow, your kids are four, six, and nine. Jasper, you are a champ, dude. Bringing a four, a six year, a nine year old on a forty five day backpacking trip, dude, that is amazing, man. I, I don't think my I don't think my daughter uh, I don't think my daughter could do that. She would be so lost without her devices, which I'm sad to say, almost a little bit. But that would be really I think that'd be a little rough for her. I could do it. I think my my uh, my, my girlfriend could do it too. But yeah, that's that's pretty awesome, man. I uh, definitely want to hear a little bit more about your your adventures. The kids are the champ. I know that's what I'm saying, man. The kids at four, six, and nine. That is crazy to see that, man. That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, so I mean, I, uh, Europe is a place that I went to. I mean, I lived in Europe, guys. If you guys didn't know that, I lived in Europe for three years, but uh, I would love to go back as an adult. It was when I was younger and I was a kid. Um, and I would love to go back as an adult and do that. So Equalizer again and uh, Holy Protection. All monsters have the Divine Shield. Okay, interesting. Hmm, 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 hmm. We might actually go with a Dragon Summoner here uh, and see how that works out. No, you know what? Maybe we'll go with Bright and Bloom and see how that works. So we're going to do Bright and Bloom along with um, Fire. 
And we can use some dragons here, I think, and that'll actually be, uh, that'll actually work pretty well. Like, we can use Manticore, he's a pretty good, uh, pretty good uh, dragon one. But who do we want to tank? I think we want to go with Cerberus to tank, and then maybe we do Gloradax. And we can't use any of the dragons now because we got too much going. So we need to get a little bit more. We got six left. So let's see what we got at four that we could use that would be good. Spark Pixies might actually be pretty good for this, or actually Fire Demon is better because we're giving everyone flying. So we got two more now, so we can do let's see what we've gotten two. Hmm, hmm, maybe we'll go with Cobalt Miner. I'm interested to see how this lineup works out. Stealth Trader, what's up? Good of you to join us, man. Exploding Dwarf up front. <laughs> I, I may, I, maybe I should have put Exploding Dwarf, but that would have been a good, a good leadoff for Tank. Instead. We'll see how it goes with this lineup, yeah. I'm a little unsure there, I'm a little unsure. But all my creatures have flying, so it'll be a lot harder to hit, I think, and that'll be a pretty big boon here. Oh, heal up Cerberus. Oh, see, there we go. See, that that uh, that uh, flying really helped, I think. Uh, not enough. Not enough. We got to get this guy down. He is like that. Uh, see, it's not going to happen. I'm not going to, I'm not taking this one. Yep, good GG's on that one. That was a good lineup. Because of that tank heal, I didn't have anybody to snipe that tank heal. And it just kind of crushed me, slowly but surely. I think that's our first, uh, that was our first defeat though. Crazy. I think that was our first defeat right there. We broke our streak. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna play uh, maybe two more matches, and then I gotta I gotta cut out guys for some lunch. Exploding dwarf always go to, yeah for equalizer for sure. Always a good one for going up front. Myler is always a tough one too, and yeah, so especially at this level, um, it, it, it's a pretty tough one to beat with that uh, with that uh, ability that they has. Debog making it rain. Thank you so much for that one T fuel dono, man. Appreciate the love. You guys can make it rain too if you're on Twitch or if you're on uh, if you're on Theta. It's a lot of fun. Range attacks may be used in the first position. All right, that's it. And big big uh, mana cap here. Big big mana cap, but uh, not not that many splinters to choose from. Now maybe we're gonna go with uh, Mimosa Nightshade because maybe they are. I don't know if they'll use a ranged uh, in in there, but uh, Mimosa might be a good one to start off with. And uh, I think maybe we're gonna do like a, a Undead Rex in front with Haunted Spirit behind, and then see what we can kind of pull in from there. Hmm. Maybe we'll go with Dark Enchantress. Might be kind of helpful. And then we got two left. Hmm, 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 hmm. Now, maybe we go with Undead Priest because it reduces the health of all the enemy monsters. That actually might be helpful in this situation. Um, even though he doesn't have any kind of really good attack abilities. Not that not at this like my my card level up is not a uh, high enough level. All right, so uh, he also went with Death Splinter, 
and I went with Bone Golem in the front with the Void, reduced damage from magic attacks. So I didn't do too many magic, so that's good. So we'll see how this goes. I'm interested to see about this one. Because I'm going to reduce their, yeah, he's going to reduce their ranged, and uh, there's a, I got a lot of statuses going out on these on these guys, so. And he also went with uh, Undead Priest, so that was pretty interesting. Yeah, goodbye, chicken. Oh yeah, I think we got this. We got this so easy. It's so easy, easy. When Undead Rexy's in the front, baby. Easy win, easy win. Most is a pretty tough uh, opponent too. When you talk about summoners, if you get the right amount of mana, uh, maintenance is finished. Yes. Hey, thank you for the follow there, sir. Yeah, and uh, for all the follows on on uh, Twitch too. Trying to trying to get the Twitch stream back up a little bit. So if you guys prefer one or the other, obviously there's a lot of fun going on on Theta. Because uh, I can do uh, cool giveaways there and a lot that's kind of like my home base But trying to build up the twitch channel a little bit so we can get more exposure for some of these nft games, right? All right, I'm gonna play one more match and then we're calling it for the day uh, We're about at an hour and I'm hungry. I gotta get some lunch guys. I gotta get some lunch All right, uh, back to basics no abilities and uh, But range may be used in the first position interesting no abilities range in first position so we want to go with uh, a really good summoner that's going to give us hmm a good advantage here and i'd say maybe sacred llama since it gives plus two health that might be pretty helpful so we're just going like massive health uh, on, on all of our creatures here and I think we just go big, big health. I think we're actually going to do Goblin Mech in front with that health boost. And then, um, hmm. We probably want something. Well, we're going to want actually some magic, I think, in this. And go with some more magic. Uh, maybe go with Kron second place. And then that way we can do, uh, so we know that he's kind of going to be hanging out there. We still got much more to go. Mm, Cyclops. And we got one more. Get the, get the chicken. Chicken. <laughs> What's for lunch? I don't know yet, man. I, I got to get up in there and see. I, I got to find out. Figure out what's for lunch, man. Maybe some tri-tip. My buddy uh, does a really great barbecue uh, business. He has a, He's like one of the top premier uh, Texas pit smoke barbecues in all of Southern California. Very popular, man. This guy is like on all the podcasts. He does all the shows. He's been hanging out with Cypress Hill a lot recently because they love his food. And uh, he, he uh, came over. And took me out for my birthday last week and dropped off some some tri-tips. Some really amazing tri-tips. So, Oh, look at this. Look at this. Because I have my guy leveled up and I get that boost. Uh, it's going to be interesting to see uh, what happens here. So he gets a speed boost, which is which will be good for him. But I think with my higher amount of... of, of oh, I missed. I missed. Dang, that was, that was crucial right there, man. That was so crucial. Wow. But see, I went with high health, so I think that I think we will probably be in pretty good position here. We'll see, hopefully. Oof, I don't know, maybe not. Uh, no, maybe not. With this with his uh Caladium, it was just too much, man. It was a little too much. Yeah, <laughs> last stand on the chicken. I can't believe he's the last person. I guess maybe I shouldn't have put him in last place, but uh, that was that was a good that was a good match, man. He had some he had a really good lineup there, and it was a little bit too much to beat me. 
Uh, but that was that was the last match. But uh, you know, you can see I, I I increased my rank a pretty good amount here from uh, about 800 to 1100. So you can see how quickly you can do that and earned I don't know about 100 DEC in that uh, session just playing for about an hour. So speed buff saved him. Yep, is that, that speed buff really saved him in in that uh, in that situation? So all right. Go out with the win. Oh, come on, Cliff. All right. Yeah, I'll do one more. You're right. I got to go out with the win. That's a good point. We'll do. I'll do one. I'll do one. Stash the tank. Oh, back to basics again. Yeah, that's like one of my worst ones. And only common and rare monsters can be used. And it's a small cap. Hmm. We want to go here. No, I don't. I don't think so. I think we need. I think we need something with a little bit of a bigger boost. Maybe we will go with the flying one again. This is a hard one. See, when it's back to basics, it really comes down to like what your summoner is going to give. I think is a, a pretty big one. No, maybe we. Yeah. Maybe we do go here, and we just kind of do a whole uh, lineup of range as much as we can. Oh, no, we went over. Damn it. Alright, let's see what we can get for two. All right, well, let's see how this works. I'm not confident about this one. Uh, this looks, yeah, it plays a little bit. I mean, it plays a little bit like uh, not Hearthstone, the main game, but the other, the other smaller Hearthstone game, Alex. He's an act. Just one more, man. Just one more. Just one more match. Yep, those are, those are the emojis out there, guys. The more emojis you throw out there, the better luck I have. I don't know if you guys know that, but I talk about this all the time. So especially when I do pack opens, if you guys drop tons of emojis or emotes in chat, it gives me tons of good luck. So uh, that's what I need right now on this match. This one right now is I need your guys' luck. Throw all the emojis at me. Everything you got. All the emojis in chat. Spam them. Spam them. Spam them. YouTube, you're not spamming. Twitch, you're not spamming. <laughs> Throw down those emotes. There we go. Now we're starting to see. Hear, hear your spam. <laughs> throw it on down, guys. Throw, throw those emotes and emojis down. I love it. I don't know what's taking this guy so long. Maybe he surrenders and I win. I win by default. Dude. <laughs> this is this is a harder one. Oh, I did. I did win it by default. Woo! Going out with the win, baby. I'll take it. He surrendered. That counts. <laughs> uh, all right, guys. Hey, thanks so much, Stashers, for hanging out with me today and uh, you know continuing uh, to build the Splinterlands Guild with me and uh continue to get uh to get uh, more uh, of a rank and learning more about splinterlands uh, i won't be on stream next week for any of my streams but i'll be back the following week so uh you know rank up get your your daily quests in and then we'll reevaluate the guild next week like i said we're going to be probably do like about a month uh, of long trial to try and decide who are going to be the permanent members for this guild i would love for it to be the stashers who are always on uh the chat and watching every wednesday because that's important so that will also be factored in, too, here at the end. But uh, you do have to play consistently. If you don't play consistently, we, you know, we have to have some sort of standard for that. So, all right, guys, that's all we have for today. We'll see you guys at Stashers next time. I'm out.